everyone, Matt here from Doctors Running, and today we're going to do a comparison review of the ASICS Metaspeed Edge Plus and the ASICS Magic Speed 2. The reason for this is kind of, if you look at these really closely, they, there are some similarities, and I figured, hey, why not talk through what the differences are to help individuals make a better decision about which one might work better for them. So first off, coming in price-wise, the Magic Speed 2 is going to be 150 bucks. The Metaspeed Edge Plus is 250 right? So a little bit more of your premium racing shoe, whereas this is now considered your more affordable racing shoe which still blows my mind but that's where expenses are now so they're both racing shoe categories um the magic speed 2 is supposed to be a little bit more trainer friendly although i don't kind of feel like that and i'll get into why i feel like that whereas the edge is real edge plus is really meant to be a racing shoe at a variety of distances especially marathon half marathon it's snappy enough i would take it for 5k 10k but most people are going to do a little bit longer um, both really great shoes. I've really enjoyed the Metaspeed Edge Plus. The Magic Speed 2 was interesting and it's been a fun shoe. Um, not a super shoe for sure. I mean, argue the Metaspeed Edge Plus isn't quite a super shoe either, but we'll get into that in just a second. But some other differences between these two don't have exact measurements on weight for the Magic Speed 2, but I, my size 10 comes in at eight and a half ounces. The Edge Plus in my size 10 comes in at seven and, a half ounce, seven and a half ounces, so an ounce difference with the Edge Plus being lighter. Drop wise, this is a seven millimeter drop. The Edge Plus is an eight millimeter drop, so fairly similar. I don't have exact measurements for stack height on the Edge on the Magic Speed 2, so I'm not gonna go into that at the moment just because I don't have it, so I can't compare it. If you look at them, they kind of look similar, right? So similar stack height, but very different, big differences in the foam with Flight Foam Turbo over here. And again, the differences over here with the Flight Foam Blast Plus and then the Flight Foam. What does that do ride quality ride wise? So comparatively, the Edge Plus is going to be a little bit softer, whereas the Magic Speed 2 is a very, is a firmer and stiffer shoe. And I noticed that right off the bat. I know you're probably expecting the soft feel from the Flight Foam Blast Plus. Didn't get that at all. The, there's a full length carbon fiber plate in here. And I hope I'm not going to say this wrong. So somebody please correct me because based on what I'm seeing in the description, this hasn't been confirmed. There might be either two plates in here or it's a combination of TPU and carbon fiber because it almost seems like it sounds like there's two plates. I don't know. It's incredibly stiff. Whereas the Edge Plus, we know that there is one carbon fiber plate going the full length. It's much more curved if you can kind of see through here. And it just it just causes in the Edge Plus, the ride wise, it's a really solid, really nice rolling ride. It's snappy. It rolls you along really, really well. It can still pick up the pace. Whereas the Magic Speed 2, it's more snappy and stiff. And it's it's really hard to bend the shoe. And I found kind of doing training paces wasn't super comfortable in this. It wasn't until I really got up to speed, like doing some intervals that this felt better. Whereas the Edge Plus kind of feels good at a variety of paces and I can even do daily training paces and it totally feels fine. I've done long runs in it. I've done tempos, I've done intervals. It feels good. The, the Magic Speed just feels stiffer and snappier underfoot, but not necessarily faster. Something if you want a super stiff shoe, this is gonna work well. If you want to combine slightly stiffer with a, a more rolling ride and a little bit more cushion, that the Edge Plus is gonna do a little bit better. And as I said, again, this is definitely really firm. This one is on the firmer side. It's not like, and I'm not trying to be rude here. It's not in my mind that super shoe bounce that you get with certain shoes. It's more of that rolling a little bit firmer ride from what I expect. Um, it's still, again, I've almost got 100 miles on these. Hasn't broken in anymore like the older Sky did. Uh, Sky Plus has been exactly the same, but this hasn't broken in anymore. But it's just got a solid ride that I trust, and it's really nice. Not, not almost a shoe, but a super shoe, not quite. I think A6, you have a little work to do. You got it with the original Sky. This one has some work. The Sky Plus definitely has some work, but that's that's another video. Fit-wise, uppers are actually really comfortable, especially the Edge Plus. The upper is so much better than the original. Um, it's got a good amount of width for a racing shoe. The, the volume sits low, so it's actually really secure. Never had the lace lock these. It was great. The Magic Speed 2, on the other hand, it's narrower throughout, but a little higher volume. So if you need that like height, you're good, but it fits a lot more narrow. Um, definitely need some thinner socks for these, but it also, you know, kind of, it fits like an older style racing shoe did where it's like super snug and it's kind of like, I'm ready to go really, really fast. This one has a little bit more room slightly. It's still got a nice secure fit where I'd take this for longer races. This one, I definitely wouldn't. So going into purpose wise, again, I would use this for almost any, the edge plus for almost anything. 
whether it be a long run, whether it be a longer race, 5K, 10K, whereas the Magic Speed 2 I'd really use for shorter intervals, 5K, 10K, some people might be able to go longer. I personally wouldn't just because it's also really narrow underfoot. Yeah, neither one of these are stability shoes, but the Edge Plus I'd say is a little bit more guided and then it rolls you forward a little bit better. Um, but I have a hard time taking the Magic Speed 2 for longer distance stuff. Some other people with more like stable mechanics might be able to get away with it. I can't just because of the narrow midsole. But other than that, distance wise, I think that Magic Speed 2 is gonna be great for someone who just wants to get into carbon fiber plated shoes. Or still, I should just say, instead of saying that, into saying stiffer, slightly higher stack shoes now, right? You're not sure if you wanna blow 250 bucks on a pair. 150 is a good starting point. And these will probably go on sale soon. These like never go on sale. This will probably go on sale at some point. So it might be a good starting point to go, hey, I don't need a super foam right now. I don't know if my mechanics can handle that. Let's just see how I do with a stiffer sole. Might also be a great introduction shoe for a high schooler or for a college athlete going, hey, I just need a faster racing flat. I need something that can handle, you know, a good amount of miles because it's been pretty durable. I've got like almost 30 miles on these in nowhere, which is great. Whereas, you know, your Metaspeed Edge Plus is for, you're, you're going, I know what I'm getting into. This is a big investment. I'm planning to run fast, especially over longer distances. I'm a more experienced runner. I, I know what I want and I'm willing to kind of put the bucks out for this, the like softer foam. So outside of that, I think they're really great shoes. I'm really excited with what Asics is doing. I think this one needs to be a little bit softer. I was really kind of disappointed that it was so firm. Um, and it hasn't really broken in anymore. I'd love to see this a little softer and I don't think you need as many plates if there are two or it might just be like super stiff. Whereas the Edge Plus and the Sky Plus, here's my big plug on these. I, Asics, I think you need to make the foam a little bit more resilient, not compliant, but more resilient just because the, the original Sky was awesome. It had this incredible foam and it was like, this is, you're knocking that apart, this is great. The, the Plus series is firmer. And they're, it's a great shoe. Edge Plus is a great shoe. It's one of my favorites of the year, but I think you can do a better job with the foam to make it a little bit more responsive and get that kind of you know super shoe feel, right? Which we've talked about in the literature and on here that it's not really the plates that are making that big bounce in that energy return. And I shouldn't even use the phrase energy return, but it's it's the foam. So you've got to, you're doing good with the plate. It's great, it feels really smooth. It's great, but you gotta, you gotta update this. So keep working on that foam, I have faith. That's a huge tangent, just a little bonus material. But that's a comparison review of the Magic Speed 2 and the Asics Metaspeed Edge Plus. Both great shoes. Which one's gonna work for you is gonna be dependent on all the stuff I talked about. You know, price is a big thing. Drop's really similar. Foams are gonna be a little bit different. Ride's gonna be different, stiffer, smoother. You just gotta figure out what you want, stick with it, and enjoy your run.